Hey, good morning my friends. Dan here and I'm on my way back down to the Bronx. I attended a storage auction yesterday and I bought one room, actually I bought two, but one of the rooms I bought was on contingency and I didn't find out until 4 o'clock yesterday after, afternoon that the room was actually mine. So now I'm on my way back down to do my treasure hunting to clear the room out. So what I want to do, and I'm going to do it later in the video, is I'm going to explain to you what it means to buy a room on contingency. And why buying a room on contingency can be an extraordinarily profitable way to buy a room at storage auction. But I'm not going to explain that to you now while I'm here driving in the van. I'll wait until I'm back, uh, back home later on. So really I ask that you stick with me through this video because I, I think you're really going to find this whole contingency thing really interesting. But I'm about 20 minutes away from the storage facility so when I get the camera rolling again we'll look inside the unit, see what kind of treasures we can find. So I wound up buying room number 10, 1042 yesterday and I saw a couple of things in here that prompted me to want to bid on this room. Um, it's kind of dark in here, so I have my flashlight. But I saw this storage box right there. looked pretty interesting. This case. I saw a few other storage boxes back here. And this just looked like an interesting room. So we're going to start pulling things out. And we're going to take a look at what we find. And again, later on in the video, I'm going to explain to you how I bought this room, what it means to buy on contingency. So stick with me, and, and let's have a good look around. As you can see, I've got a long way to go, still have a lot of stuff to go through. But from what i found so far, this case, a little bit of a bust. Uh, the case itself is gorgeous. Who knows what I might be able to get for this, but there's just nothing inside but old uh, vitamin bottles. Found an original printing, 1929 Herman Melville book. That could be worth uh, quite a few bucks. It looks like it's in excellent shape. Um, what else? I found a really cool leather and embroidered vest. I'm thinking it looks vintage, it probably could bring me a couple hundred. And here I have a whole bunch of, it uh, looks like, um, prints. Don't know much about them, not going to go through them now, but you know, so far so good. I haven't found anything yet that's uh, bowled me over, but like I said, I still have a long way to go, and I'll keep you posted. All right, guys, so here it is. It's, um, it's the next day, and I cleaned out that storage unit, the one that I bought on contingency. And uh, although it wasn't a home run of a storage unit, I had higher hopes for it. I did find a lot of valuable items, and I'm, I'm pretty confident that I'm going to be able to triple or quadruple my money on it. Uh, it was an awful lot of work, though. There was a lot to sort through, got rid of a lot of garbage, a lot of trash. Um, but, you know, overall, I think it was a pretty good unit. But more importantly, what I wanted to talk to you about is the idea of buying it on contingency. The auction started at 11 a.m. By the time that unit was available for sale, it was about 11.30. But it was being bought on contingency till 4 p.m. that day. In other words, I was the high bidder on that unit, but I didn't know until 4 p.m. that the unit was actually mine because they gave the former tenant up until that time, 4 p.m., to make good on their rent. If they didn't make good on the rent by 4 p.m., then the unit was mine at the, the number that I bid. And that's exactly what happened. Came 4 p.m., they didn't make good on their rent, the storage facility called me, said the unit is yours. That's what it means to buy on contingency. Now why I love to buy a locker on contingency is for this reason. When you go to a storage auction, you want to be able to go there, bid, buy, and clear out your unit all on the same day, right? Generally on the same day. But when you buy on contingency, you don't know whether or not the locker is yours, you won't be able to really do anything with it that day. It's most likely that you'll, you'll find out when the day is over that the locker, whether or not you want it, which means that you'd have to go back to that storage facility the, the next day to clear it out. So a lot of the other uh, auction participants shy away from buying on contingency for that uh, reason, because of that unknown factor. Uh, and it drives a lot of people away. So for that reason, there usually is not a lot of competition on lockers being sold on contingency, which means you can get a lower price for them. I only paid $175 for that storage unit. Now another great reason why I love buying on contingency is again, cash is king at the storage uh, auction. And when you win a locker, you need to uh, pay for that locker that day when the auction is over in cash in the office, right? 
Now, I paid $175 for that locker, and I would have had to leave a $100 clean-out deposit to go along with it. So right there, that would have been $275 less I would have had in my pocket to bid uh, for the rest of the day, to use for the rest of the day. But because I bought that um, locker on contingency, I knew that that $275 was still in my pocket at my disposal to be able to use for any of the lockers that were available that day. Because I knew full well that if I did win that locker, if 4 o'clock rolled around and that storage locker was mine, I wouldn't have to pay for it until the next day, which may, meant that that $275 was still in my pocket to use for the rest of the uh, auction. You understand? It's a very important point that I just made, so I really want you to understand it. Uh, and, oh, and one last point I want to make about all this. I just mentioned before that buying on contingency means a you usually get a nice locker at a low price. So I bought that locker filled with all that stuff for $175. I kid you not, just a couple of lockers later, a guy paid $190 for, for his locker, and in there, I'm not kidding, were four shoe boxes, a black plastic bag, and then a box that looked like it had some sort of motorcycle part in it. You really weren't not able to see exactly what it was. So that guy paid $190 for just those couple of little items. Meanwhile, I got that entire unit for $175. So you can see that buying on contingency usually means that you're going to get a lower number for a pretty good locker. So anyway, that's it. My name is Dan. I want you to stay tuned because I have some very, very important videos coming up in the future. In fact, if you're not a subscriber to my channel and you're watching this video, please subscribe now. That way you'll get alerted when I put new videos out there. And the one that I'm going to be doing next week, well, one of the ones I'm going to be doing next week, you don't want to miss it. And if I've given you some good advice in this video, please hit the like button. And of course, talk to me. I love talking, storage auctions, treasure hunting, picking with the members of this great community. So go ahead and leave a comment below. Talk to me. I promise I will talk back. Okay, that's it. I'm Dan, signing off for now. Until next week.